Hi, Stephen from Owner Disown. Now the, the uh, Lenovo Yoga 720, the 15 inch uh, with the uh, GTX 1050 um, GPU is a very popular laptop. You know, many people have watched my uh, video on it. And uh, of course I've recently done uh, a video on uh, Windows Mixed Reality using uh, the Samsung Odyssey headset. Now probably many of you are wondering, you know, wonder if my uh, Yoga 720 can actually play these uh, VR games and uh, what's the setup like? Well, as you know, it doesn't come with a HDMI uh, port by default. So you have to buy an adapter. So I just bought one here, it's by uh, Kimwood. So it's a, a USB-C or Thunderbolt um, to uh, HDMI connector. You know, plug that in and then uh, plug the HDMI cable into one end, of course, and the USB 3 cable into the USB 3 port. And everything is recognized flawlessly. It's plug and play. You go through the setup procedure and you're good to go. So let's uh, let's take a look and see how it performs. Okay, so I'm using uh, the Lenovo Yoga 720 uh, Windows Mixed Reality with this Samsung Odyssey headset. Just want to see how it works. So this laptop uh, has the uh, i7-7700 HQ CPU and uh, it has the GTX 1050 GPU with two gigabytes of VRAM. Uh, so, uh, Moving my head around, it's, uh, yeah, it's reasonably smooth, it's quite good. So, uh, let's move around the room. I can perhaps even look at the browser. So that works. Okay. Yep, so, no different to uh, anything else. In fact, it, it might be a little bit jittery, more jittery than, uh, in fact it is. When you move your head from side to side fast, it's a little more jittery compared to uh, uh, my uh, Sager laptop, which was uh, it's quite a powerful piece. Okay, so let's try Space Pirate Trainer on my uh, Yoga 720 15 inch. I would say playing this fast-paced game is just the same as uh, playing it on my uh, Sage with the uh, GTX 1080, so can't fault it at all. I still get the uh, occasional um, tracking issues with the, uh, you know, like you see there, there with the uh, shield, sort of jumping around, but still enjoyable, like it. All right, so I confirm that Space Pirate Trainer is actually equally as smooth as playing on uh, my, let's say, my Sager with the uh, GTX 1080. So, you know what? Fantastic. I couldn't be more impressed. Uh, moving around the, 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 the space here, I initially thought it wasn't quite as smooth. If I was moving your head around fast, it's not quite as good as it was on the, uh, the GTX 1080. But still, it's very good. And the fact that it allows you quite cheap entry into uh, VR here, uh, that's a big thumbs up for me. Hey, so I'll tell you what, I was pretty impressed. At first, I thought it was perhaps a little bit jittery, you know, moving head round and round inside the uh, the cliff mansion. But you know, in game playing Space Pirate Trainer, I noticed no difference compared to my GTX 1080 notebook. No difference at all. Um, of course, it still had the usual tracking issues with the, the controllers, but the gameplay was still smooth and very enjoyable. So, certainly, if you're on the fence about getting a Windows Mixed Reality headset because you don't know if your laptop can uh, can play it. Rest assured, the Yoga 720 with the 1050 uh, GTX uh, 1050 graphics card in works fine. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.